All right, how you going? It's Micah from CMC, and I'm back. Oh yeah, Gran Turismo is out, by the way. Doing a race on Gran Turismo 7 on the Toyota series. I haven't touched this game in almost three years, ever since the um, that situation where the world shut down happened. And yeah, we're back. It was the first and final race of the series, which is the, what's the cup called? Toyota Cup. Cup Cup. The Toyota Gazoo Cup. There you go. Anyway, we're racing in the Toyota Corolla. There we go. We're racing in the GR Corolla Morizo Edition. Morizo Edition. The GR Corolla Morizo Edition 2022. Oh, and by the way, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo in the movies, uh, as, it, as you can see straight ahead. It just keeps popping up for some stupid reason. Anyway, we race in the uh, we race in the Toyota Gazoo series, the first race that I attempt, and it's the very last race of the series for the year that it is. So um, yeah, I thought I'd blow the dust off the blow the dust off the sim rig since I haven't touched it in yeah nearly three years as well. Give this game a bit of a um, a dust off. See if anything's changed, and nothing's really changed. But anyway, we're racing at Road America in the Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup. There you go. We're in the Toyota Corolla GR Edition. And we start off with the white color. Getting used to the track, because I've been driven this track before as well. In the game, that is. I do know the track, but I just haven't driven this track on Gran Turismo. And uh, first attempt into it, we pick up a penalty straight away. But yet again, it's quite quite standard. You know, just trying to get used to the controls, what you can do, what you can't do. And uh, the game, I I don't recall the game handling like this before. I think they've up they've updated their physics system. I'm pretty sure from what I've heard in recent history. Anyway, we're racing, and we could hear. As we're doing some laps, I could hear a little bit of a, um, like a heckler. I could hear a heckler on the side of the track. Heckles me a fair few times. You've got no oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah, no worries, mate. Thank you. You know, it's, I'm rusty. I haven't touched this game in quite a long time. Especially racing in a series that I haven't been in in a long time as well. Yeah, we're still picking up penalties. We're not improving our time. No matter what I do, I keep cutting the corners. The game doesn't like it. Keeps slapping me with penalties. And as we keep on attempting, we're still picking up more. We're, sp we're still picking up more penalties. It's like, ah, screw it. It's a full, it's an all-wheel drive. Was it a full-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive? Either way, I test the capabilities going off-road, testing what it's like. Drives pretty good on the grass, I'll give it that. But the game doesn't like it, it still gives you a one second penalty if you do cut the grass. Oh, actually, no, that time gives us two second penalty. Anyway, it's round seven, race seven. First and last race for me, for this year that is. Anyway, time's aren't improving, so I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna try a different car. Well, same car, should I say, but a different color. We'll go to the smoke color, because smoke reduces the aero flow, as you can tell. Did a fair bit of research and apparently you can lose a tenth of a second, but still we get back into it. We're still getting penalties. I start copying some ghosts to see what they do. I watch their replays as well, see what they do as well. Gives me a bit more insight into it. And then still getting penalties left, right, and center. Um, blow it. Still getting penalties left, right, and center, but yeah, still following him, trying to do what he does. Keeps getting away. Anyway, get sick of the guys because it keeps distracting me. Again, I'll try going off road to see if that does anything. As you can see uh, right now, um, both of the game likes it. Yeah, nah, the game doesn't like it. Gives you a half second penalty if you want to cross. Anyway, we keep trying. Keep trialing an error. Start improving times. Start getting used to the physics of the game again. It slowly starts coming back to me. Anyway, after a while, we beat our time. We get a 133.3, and we're 115. And um, on the friends leaderboard, I'm fifth. But yeah, after having a decent break from the game, good two years and a half, 
Coming at uh, coming at 115. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll, would you go away, Grand Turismo? Yeah, I know you're out. Thank you for letting me know. Anyway, we go into the lobby. Oh, that's right. There's a 15 second, oh, 15 minute countdown. So we're like, all right, we'll do some more laps into it. Try to improve our time. See if we can improve it. After a while, we get in the lobbies and a few familiar faces. They're all just yelling at each other. It's good to see you boys and girls, if there are any on there. I apologise, I assumed your gender. Anyway, we get on to the qualifying. Car still feels the same. We're on a full tank of fuel, same tyres and whatnot. So yeah, the car pretty much handles exactly the same how it was in time trial. Yeah, see if we can catch up to the guy up ahead. If we can catch up to the guy up ahead, I know I'm doing a little bit better. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, Gran Turismo, the movie's out. If you want to see it in theaters only, coming this summer. Anyway, back into the race. We're trying to catch up to this guy. If I'm catching up to him, I know I'm doing good. Anyway, we get into it. We can see a couple of times starting to appear now. And we get in second position, which is pretty darn good for what it is. Oh, no, no, we're down in third now. Um, but oh, I'll take that for now. I know we can do a better lap than that. But unfortunately, I cut that corner and get a whopper. One second penalty. Cheers, Mike. Anyway. We slowly start making our way down the field. We're in fifth position now. Start a new lap. We're doing okay times. Do a pretty crap intake in that corner. And yeah, screw up this corner. And that was pretty much bike fully done. Yeah, I, from that point I knew we weren't improving. But anyway, finish the lap. We get fifth. I'll take fifth. After a bit of a break. So yeah, we'll take fifth. Screw it. Don't even talk to you. You don't no. even know me. Can we stop running our mouths? Stop. Beat the We're almost a second behind. Again, the field are getting a bit antsy with each other. They're all yelling at each other, as you can hear. A bit of a squeaker in there as well. Don't know who that is. But yeah, still, it's good to see a, f a few familiar faces that I haven't seen. Or names, should I say. A few familiar names I haven't seen in a long time. Good to see you. Fellas and ladies. And uh, yeah, here we are. Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup after a decent break from the game. It's good to be back. I forgot the little build up as well. Amps you up for the game. That's what I enjoy about it. It gives you, it amps you up, gets you ready for the race. And we're making our way through the field. A couple of names I cannot recognize. Oh, I probably have raced with them before, but they've changed their names and all that. So I don't know who's who anymore. It's a grid start as well, which I like. I like my grid starts. Makes it nice and even for everyone. And away we go. We got an okay start. I'll take that. We're catching up to Park Ferme. See if we can overtake him on the first corner. And yeah, I think we do. Creep in there a bit. We get a bit of a... Not the greatest exit out the corner. But yeah, I'll take fourth. We get through it. Let's have a look on the replay, shall we? Me myself staying on the inside, having a better bit of a better exit. Never taken park firm, eh? And he slips in right behind me as we make our way through a couple of the corners up the hill, making our way down. I thought I cut the corner just then, but no, the game forgives me for it. You know, it's, it, you haven't been playing for a while. We'll, we'll let you go, Mike. Yeah, cheers, mate. No worries. I completely forgotten how good the replay cameras are and how good the game looks. Looks absolutely incredible. The game's one year old too. Anyway, there's new tracks in the game. It's Road America. We're racing in Great America. As we're making our way through on the first lap. Just staying behind Zeesh. Let's see if we can overtake him as we make our way down the long straight. The back road of Road America. As we make our way to the last couple of corners, Andrew Lee decides to run over a banana, gets a bit sideways, just cocks up his exits, slows us down just a little bit, and he gets a bit of a bit of a slap on the wrist for that 0.5 second penalty. A bit of biff and barging up ahead. Good race and rubbin's race, Mark. Rubbin race, Mark. 
that can go down on the outside of M. Allen. Mr. Allen, should I say. Get a bit of a better exit, see if we can overtake him, get the... But nah, I can't. Nah, I'll stay behind him. Stay behind Allen as we commence the second lap. Pretty skits race so far. Coming into the second, second lap of the race. It's nice and close. It's nice and even. There's no biff and barging. Oh, that's what I was a bit afraid of. I thought there would be a bit, bit of push and shoving in here. Mm, excuse me, except for behind me. You got Park Ferme has decided to run off the road and smash into a couple of people. And that's pretty much his race done now. Anyway, back up to the third lap. Making our way through. And uh, Mr. Lee and Mr. Allen both get a second penalty for cut through the corner. Which gives me good hopes that I'm like, okay, I can probably get second position out of this. As long as I don't cock it up. I should be okay. Anyway, is the heckler still there? Nah, I can't even hear him anymore. The crowd's nice and full. It's a decent crowd watching us, which is good. Anyway, both the drivers pay their penalty. I overtake one, get third position. Overtake the next one, get second position. Yeah, boy, I'll take that. Let's see if we can get first position. Catch up to Zish. Yeah, from what I recall, A. Lee is Andrew Lee, I'm pretty sure, who has entered in the FIA series a couple of times, I think. He's right up my clacker. Let's see. Let's see if I can defend him as we go through the first corner. Cock it up a little bit. Bit of a crap exit. He stays behind me. Doesn't really get of an advantage. Anyway, as we make our way through the next couple of corners. Screw that up. That one up again. Just losing my lapses concentration. Just getting distracted with all the crowds. It's a good crowd turnout, I really like it. Anyway, back down the back straight. Angel Lee is right behind us. He's looking to overtake. Oh, he's looking, he's looking. He breaks a bit later and yeah, he gets it done. Easy, simple. Good overtake, I like it. I think I tapped him out a little bit wide, but it's all good. He's in front of me. No, over, no, no penalty for either of us, so yeah, that's good. I like that. And then we approach into the fifth lap. Then I've got Mr. Allen up my clacker now. As you can see, Andrew Lee going in for the overtake. Breaks a little bit later. Takes advantage of the inside and gets it done. Bit of crap defending from myself. By the way, Gran Turismo is out. Anyway, on the fifth lap. Andrew Lee in front of me now. Then I've got Mr. Allen. Matthew Allen. I could be wrong. Also known as Ranger Roz. Anyway. Fifth lap, going into it, just trying to stay behind Andrew Lee, just follow his lines, try to copy his driving, but they seem to get away in that section for some odd reason. I don't seem to be doing that section properly. Anyway, we're still trying to stay behind him. Stay against his fumes, smell the fumes of the car because they smell good. It looks like old mate Alan is catching up to me. That's good. I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it, I'm liking it. It's good racing, mate, it's good racing. As we head our way down the back straight, I can't hear the heckler anymore. I think the heckler's just been muffled by the the crowd, so you can't hear him anymore. And then here you go, you got Mr. Allen on the left side of me. He's thinking about it, he's thinking about it. He doesn't look like he is, but I crock up the corner, get a little bit spooked. I thought he was going to do a little bit of a dive bomb, but nah, I just screw up the corner instead and make it easy for him. And there you go, there's my podium position taken away from me. Bon voyage. As we enter the sixth lap of the race. And already you can see Andrew Lee's gone. Gone in the wind. And I'm just trying to stay behind old mate Allen, but I just keep screwing up the corners. Just getting distracted by the crowd and the hecklers. Give me a break, it's been a while. Old mate Allen doing some pretty skits drifting skills there. Trying to show off to me, I thought I'd do the same as well, return serve, do a bit of drifting myself, get in front of him, and there we go, we're back in third position again. See if we can defend old mate Allen this time. And as you can see, the black car is faster than the white car, so my scientific research is pretty good. Mr. Allen looking on the inside again, I break earlier, he breaks later, and yeah, he gets the overtake done easily. Fair play, Mark. Good overtake. 
get the overdrive. See if we can stick it on the inside though. Unfortunately, I have to sacrifice my speed because my exit's going to be pretty shit, which you can see, and then slow down a bit. And then fast fill, you know what? It'll take up two positions just like that. Fast fill says, thank you very much. I'll take that. Cheers, fellas. But oh, mate, Alan's like, nah, I don't want any of that. He'll take his third position back. And then we've got a battle for third right now. With some skits racing. Oh, did you know Gran Turismo? Gran Turismo the movie is it? Past the halfway point. Still having a battle for third. Fast Phil doing a bit of drifting there, showing off to me. Seventh lap, down the back straight. The battle for third. Rages on. I break a little bit later and uh, decide to give Fast Phil a bit of a push and shove. Tell him to speed up, hurry up. Didn't get a penalty for it, so I'll take that. Fast Phil starts blowing his horn at me. Don't know if I had this to say, oh, sorry mate, or you're a crap driver. But no, he's playing with his horn now, he's having fun. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm having fun too. That's what we're here for, we're here to have fun. On to the eighth flat. The battle for third still rages on. I screw up that corner as per usual, at least I don't get a penalty for it. Start losing a bit of time behind the other two, but I'm sure we can catch up to him if we concentrate. Which I s struggle to do sometimes. I just get distracted easily. Fast feel. Toots his horn again. Just letting us know that he's there. Gets a bit of a poor exit out of there. Slows down a lot there. Compromises my exit. So yeah, yeah myself and Phil. Really horny. Just playing with the horns as Ranger Oz slowly gets away from us. But I'm sure we can get 4th position. Coming on to the ninth lap. Fast field doing some skits drifting right there. We get a little bit closer to him. I'm sure we can overtake him. Just got to find the right, right time. Hopefully he'll get a penalty at some point. I'll make us overtake him. And there you go. Fast field gets a second penalty for cut in the corner. So that gets my hands rubbing. I give Fast Phil a bit of a toot just to let him know. Thanks for the driving, mate. I'm taking fourth off you. Thank you. But I'm going for third now. See if we can catch up to Mr. Allen, aka Ranger Oz. I'm sure we can. Persevere. Believe in yourself. And it can be done. On to the tenth lap. Three laps to go. I'm at the point where I don't even know what lap I'm on. I just keep racing. I'm enjoying it too much. Completely forgotten how fun this game is sometimes. I'm trying to itch ever so closer to Mr. Allen. Trying not to get any penalties. Lap times start to improve since we've got no one in front of us now. Slowing us down. <coughs> Fast feel. Two more laps remaining. We start building a gap from the car behind us. And we're just trying to catch up to third position. But he's just a little bit too far ahead, even though it's just over a second, but it's going to be tough to try get that gap down. Still not improving on my times, which is a bit annoying. And it does annoy me a bit if I'm not improving my times, as you can see. Get a bit of a shocking exit. And I don't think the game likes that. Yeah, nah, the game doesn't like it. So we get a half second penalty for it. Which is okay, hopefully that doesn't let the other guys behind us overtake. Nope, oh, and there you go, the heckler's back. Cheers mate, appreciate it. We've taken our penalty. Oh yeah, Gran Turismo made the movies out, by the way. Don't lose too much out of it, but you can see behind me, the time's closing down. Just to over, just over a second now, as we make our way to the final lap of the race. Third position's gone, unless, you know, Mr. Allen decides to cock it up, but I highly doubt he does. Looks like first position's locked in, second position's locked in, and third position's locked in. Let's see if we can claim fourth. Here's the final lap of the race. Some pretty skits racing at Road America in the Toyota Gazoo GT Cup. The last race of the series of the year. It was good fun. I take the corners ever so cautiously because I don't want to get a penalty. I improved the first sector, but still not good enough to catch up to Ranger Oz, that is. 
as we make our way down the back straight for the very last time. The heckler's going off. You can just hear the horns behind me. Fast feel, still horny. As we make our way through the last few corners of the track. First positions to Jeesh, second to Andrew Lee, third to Mr. Allen. And after almost a three year break, I take fourth position. I'll take that. I'm happy with that. We could have gotten third, but I don't know. Just got a bit silly into the race. It was a good race. I enjoyed it. There was some skits racing for the first few laps. I well, probably, actually, no, I lied. It's probably skits racing for the first six laps until Fast Phil got his penalty. And, uh, and then it was just a race on my own, just trying to catch up to Mr. Allen. But Mr. Allen proved to be a better driver. Congratulations. And yeah, there you go. Fourth position. I'll take that. Oh, I enjoyed it. It was good to be back in the game. It was fun. It does give me a bit of a, um, I don't know. What's the word for it? A bit of a... Motivation booster. There you go, that took me a while. To get back into the game. So, it was good to be back in Gran Turismo 7 into an actual um, online series, which was the Ga Toyota Gazoo series, or GT Cup series. Yes, thank you. Gran Turismo is out. Thank you, thank you. And, um... Yeah, even though it was my first race this year, um, it was the final race of the series for this year. But yeah, still still enjoyed it. I had fun. And uh, for the people that are watching, if you don't enjoy Gran Turismo, or you do have Gran Turismo and you haven't played it in a while, I do recommend getting giving it another crack. The game's still not what it used to be, because um, it's always online and all that crap, which I don't like. I like to... But I like uh, I like the old school Gran Turismo where it was a bit of a single player focus where now it's uh, oh it is still single player focus but I don't know there's just something not right about the game um, there's no um, I don't know progress you don't feel like you're progressing in the game so that's why it's not enjoyable for me I feel like you're not really um, I don't know achieving anything you're not achieving anything anymore in the series um, but yeah anyway the online stuff's good it was clean. Uh, the servers are good. There's no, no lagging or anything like that, like in other series that you or other games that you're racing. Um, but yeah, it has definitely motivated me to get back into the game and race in different platforms as well, such as iRacing and F1 and a set of Corsa, which I will be doing soon. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. Um, and for those that have watched it, that have watched it all the way through to the end, thank you. I appreciate it. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Oh yeah, and by the way, Gran Turismo sounds out. Yeah. yeah, like I said, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. I'll try to pump more of these out as well as other content as well. And um, hope to see you on track. And have a skits race, Mark. Oh yeah, Gran Turismo's out, by the way.